Okay, so welcome to another technology video. So today we're going to be looking at um, what you need to do to increase the amount of storage on a QNAP to drive NAS system. So um, in our predicament, we have pretty much run out of disk space on our uh, two bay TS251 plus NAS drive. And what we're going to do is, so we're going to upgrade the storage. So currently we've got two WD red hard disks in there. They are four terabytes each and we've got it configured in RAID 1. And what we want to do is we want to upgrade our four terabyte disks to 10 terabytes. Um, and that's going to give us the ability to um, have additional storage. So we predominantly use this box for backups of all of the devices on our network. Um, but we also use it as a media server as well. So what we don't want to do is obviously run out of disk space and we are pretty much on the limit at the moment. So first of all, um, what we're going to do is we're going to run through the scenario that you need to follow to swap out the disks uh, one by one and um, increase your storage space. So first of all, you want to log on to your NAS system and then we're going to navigate to storage and snapshots. Once that opens up, fully, you'll be able to see your utilization. So at the moment, our storage pool here, um, we've got 0.1 of a terabyte. So we're at 95.9% utilization. So um, you always wanna make sure that you've got some space available to be able to uh, increase volume sizes, increase file system sizes. Um, and if you don't have sufficient space to be able to do it, then you need to free up some space by, you know, um, copying and pasting stuff. So these devices also have a USB port on them. So you can plug in an external USB 3 drive, um, copy some data over and then delete it from your system. And that will give you some storage space. So um, to increase the disk space so first of all we're going to go and have a look at our nas drives as you can see here um, we've got 3.64 terabytes usable space on the four gig drive so you always lose some um, in that and um, one of them is a lot older than the other one one is a pretty much a brand new disk as you can see here it's been powered on for 23 days uh, our other drive in here has been up for over 1100 days so um, what we're going to do is we're going to run through the scenario to replace them. So as I mentioned, you want to come into snap, storage and snapshots, and then you want to select your um, storage pool one, which we are on. And then you want to go to your storage and snapshots. Sorry, I should have said that. Um, you want to select your storage pool one, and then you want to go to manage. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on manage and you want to select replace disks one by one. So we're going to select that and we're going to select our disk two and we're going to click on change. Okay, so that's now telling us to um, remove the drive. It will lock the other drive so you can't make any changes. And then we're going to go over and remove the drive from our storage enclosure. So as you can see here, here's our storage enclosure. The one we're interested in is the one on the top and we're going to remove drive two. So we're going to slide that out as you can see here, um, this is our older drive. Um, it's a four terabyte NAS drive, WD Red, and we've got two um, Iron Wolf Pro devices here that we're going to swap it out to. So to change the drive, um, there are four screws. So as you can see here, one, two, three, four, holding the drive in. You can ignore the beeping. That just tells us that um, we've got a drive removed. And it will also be saying that you've got um, degraded RAID, obviously, because you've only got one drive in there now. So 
that's the four screws removed then you can remove the drive from the cage so as you can see here's our replacement um, 10 terabyte Ironwolf Pro so these come with five years warranty um, and if you sign up for it you can also use their rescue data service which um, is shown by this little um, icon here and you'll also see that when you're actually in the drive um, utility with inside the NAS. Okay, so you want to make sure that the drive is lined up and then it's just a matter of reinserting the screws. When I'm fitting drives, I always do the opposite sides of the screws um, diagonally. No real reason for it. It's just the way I choose to do it. Okay, so that's the drive mounted in the in the caddy. Next thing we want to do is to insert that into the drive. That's it. So that's the drive inserted. Now we can head back to the utility. This will take a little while to spin the drive up. And as you can see here, it's now switched the operation um, and lock that as well. So uh, what it's going to do, it's then going to synchronize all of its uh, data that it needs to. So basically what it does now is going to rebuild the RAID array. And once that's completed, um, you can then swap out the other disk as well and exactly do exactly the same. So let's have a look at the dashboard. And as you can see here, the dashboard icon is turned orange for a warning. And it says here, RAID group one in storage pool one is rebuilding. Go to storage and snapshots to view that. So this will take um, quite a bit of time. So we'll leave that running and then we'll come back once that has completed. So once the once the disk has finished syncing, um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go back into your uh, storage and snapshots. You want to select your storage pool one again and go to manage. Select uh, RAID group one, which is now showing 9.10 terabytes here and the four terabyte disk here. We go to our RAID group one. We go to manage again and replace disks one by one. And then we're gonna go in, you can see our Seagate disk here. Uh, we wanna select our disk number one and select change. And as you can see, that's telling us to remove the drive. So once that drive has been removed, um, we're gonna change the disk in the, uh, in the, um, in the drive caddy insert that and then that again will take about another six hours to um, resync the raid okay so the new disc has been inserted so let's now wait and see when that appears in the system you can ignore the beeps that's just warnings telling you that the raid is degraded and it's rebuilding the raid array there we go so we can now see our other 10 gig disc inserted um, and again, that's got to run through and resync the RAID group. So that will take another um, six to seven hours. So we'll come back and uh, have another look at that once it's finished. Okay, so once the disks have resynced, um, so that's both of the disks replaced now. You want to come back into your storage and snapshots, go into your storage snapshots. 
click on your um, storage pool one. I'm going to go into manage. And then we're going to go into manage. So at the moment you can see we've got two 10 gig disks here, but the RAID group is still showing as four gig, uh, four terabytes. So we're going to go into manage. We're going to go into replace disks one by one, and we're now going to go into expand capacity. And what that's going to do, that is going to expand the capacity back up to, should do, back up to 10 terabytes. And there we go, you can see down the bottom here, expand RAID has started. And that's going to resync again. And as you can see here, it's going to take another significant amount of time. So once that's completed, we can then come back and view our system. So we can close that for now. OK, so once your RAID array has fully expanded, again, you can go back into storage and snapshots. And then we're going to go into, again, storage and snapshots. And then you can have a look on storage pool one, and that is now at our full capacity. Uh, we obviously lose nearly uh, um, a significant chunk, um, 10, 10 terabytes down to just over 9 terabytes for the total capacity. But that has now expanded our storage pool using our two 10 terabyte disks. And then you can carve that up, create additional volumes if you want to. You can't create an additional storage pool because um, that's already been allocated. So if you wanted to do that, you would need to add, um, well, you can only add one the one storage pool on here, um, but you can have multiple volumes um, against that storage pool. If you wanted to add additional storage pools, then you can create um, those using um, an expansion module, which you can attach via uh, USB 3. Should be sufficient for you to do. Um, it's very, very high speed, five uh, gigabits a second transfer rate, so um, you don't lose any significant performance if you were to do that. Um, so that's all there is to it. If you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd just like to say thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.